Hey, good evening, world. Whoever's joining us, whoever's watching us, uh, Mark's just here somewhere. He's doing Hello. something. Um, uh, it, it's Wednesday, and um, yeah, we haven't done very many Tetra Key TVs in the past couple of weeks. We've got a really good reason. Where have we been, Mark, this week, weekend? We have been running away from the Big Five. We've, we've run away from the world. We ran away from the and then we got ourselves stuck in the African bush and had to run away from rhinos, elephants, buffaloes. Uh, what else? Oh, lions. Lions. Five lions. Um, yeah, all sorts of, of cool it's things. Been rather entertaining. So we've been camping in the African bush. We had rangers with guns looking after us. That was quite exciting. And um, each night, what do we have to do each night? We had to go on watch, which was for me some of the most enjoyable part so yeah. between the hours of 9 p.m and 5 a.m one of us out of the group had to spend an hour on watch making sure we didn't get eaten yep or trampled on or trampled on in the absolute pitch black, pitch I mean, black. Star a few stars above pitch black and as you shine the torch around you you're looking for eyes and those eyes could have been hyena hyena leopard leopard wild dog lion, lion elephant buffalo Basically, stuff that, and do you know this eeriest bit for me on the last night what? was I was sat there with the bush behind me. What time did you do that night? Uh, I think I did 12 till 1 or 1 till 2 or something okay. like that. And I sat there with the bush behind me, but it was a much lower cliff on that camp. And it's pitch black everywhere. And I'm shining the torch in front of me, and I'm suddenly like, I could be attacked from behind by a lion or a cat sat just here. How do I position myself to, to, to be safe by this fire? Ah, keeps you on your toes, doesn't it? Yeah. So that's, um, that's been our, our world for the past what a world. week. Uh, we're invigorated and back into it today. In fact, I've had a really successful day today. Yes, successful thing. Mark has got a really important thing happen to, happening tomorrow. Which we won't talk about yet. Which we won't talk about yet. But we will talk about it tomorrow? Maybe. We'll see. Maybe. No, we'll see. No. Friday? We'll see. We'll see. Possibly a really important, really exciting thing. Um, well, it is, but we're not, we can't, we're not, not going to talk about it. No. Nope. No. But um, yes, I was spill the beans so desperately. <laughs> We've got new t-shirts coming. Yeah, waiting for the final email, the final quote to sign off. Uh, what else? I'm going to America in a week's time. If you're in Portland and you want to learn to do what we do, Portland, Oregon, uh, end of November, beginning of December, spend a week with myself, learn to do what we do and achieve what we achieve um, and have that for yourself. We have spaces on a programme left in Portland, Oregon. So um, that was a bit of a... A fleeting moment. Uh, send me a message if you want to come and join us or if you know somebody that would benefit from it. Uh, Sophia, thanks for joining us this evening. So I want us to talk about tonight about uh, what are we, uh, celebrating your screw-ups. Yeah. Um, so Mark and I spent a lot of time together over the past two or three weeks and we've started our execution for 2018 already. Yep. We're in 2017 is done and dusted. Finished. 1st of November, pretty much sorted. Um, and, and we're busy going forward into 2018. But one of the really important things we do is we have to celebrate what we've screwed up this year. So what have you screwed up this year? I have screwed up this year putting too many, uh, too few eggs in, uh, not have, uh, having too many big clients and not enough small clients. That's what I've screwed up. And I'm going to celebrate it. It's a great thing because you know why it's great? Why is that? I'm not going to do that next year. No, learn from that one. Learn from that one and, and move up. Um, and I've also taken on too many different things and me spread too thin this year. Um, possibly not by the people's standards, but by, by my standards. And so uh, that's wonderful. Good. What am I not doing next year? So that. much. Yeah. Two focuses and a half a focus with the future proof stuff. Yes. Yes. What's the, where's that a half? Well, I've got Tetra Key, Seattle Adventure Sports. And future, okay, three focuses. There you go. Three focuses. Uh, and all the new social media stuff we're going to be doing. We're going to bring immense value to you next year, by the way, in terms of social media. We're, I'm so excited about it. Um, what are you celebrating? My screw up this year is probably this today, hence I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> today was my 66th flight of 2017, <sighs> on top of the 86 flights I did in 2016. Mm. So I am a bit broken now, 
I think all is flying. So that's I think we've probably both spent the same amount of time on a plane this year. It's just you've done more of it. Oh yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's the thing that I'm look, uh, which is a massive change, obviously making next year, mm. uh, which I'm very very excited about. So yeah, putting my screw up is I have ran myself ragged this year and haven't always had enough energy to do the things I need to be doing. It's been a balancing of the books mm. this year. But, so I'm celebrating that, celebrating that that's not happening next year. So Mark has been working one really large contract for the yeah. past two years, three yeah. years, one really large contract um, and putting, I won't say all of his time and efforts, but a large majority of his time and efforts, 90% into that large contract. What happens on the 1st of January? I don't have that contract anymore. Yes. And isn't that amazing how we're celebrating the fact that we're not having that large contract anymore? Mm, it's like so counterintuitive. But what are we going to do if we if we keep on doing what we did what we've done over the past couple of weeks in terms of our execution and our productivity? How is January going to be? January will be something that I look forward to, which is something I haven't done for a bit. And I think again, it's it's we talk time and time again. So the obviously we we lose that contract through our choice. So it's mm. not it's a contract that I've terminated. Um, I've said enough's enough. So we lose that security, but I gain and we gain so much more out of it. So it's all about balancing, and we talk about this time and time again. The easy option would be to continue with that contract. Mm, the that's, safe option. That's the safe option. Mm. It's a guaranteed revenue stream for the business. The work is is challenging, but it's not too much of a stretch. Mm. Um, and it's four days a week, so it gives me another day a week to really focus on other stuff. So it's, it's, it's the easy option would be to carry on. Mm. But it doesn't align to what we are trying to build, and therefore we have taken the other and probably the, the braver option to say thank you very much, and we leave you on very good notes. But now I can be 100% focused on the stuff that we need to drive rather than mm. focused on the stuff that... It's not as important. And I think somebody the other day said to me, um, what we what we achieve in a month, most um, that his workforce struggles to achieve in a year. Mm. Um, uh, ironically, over the past couple of weeks, we've probably quadrupled what we normally achieve in a month. Probably, Hence, probably. I'm probably looking 50 years old at the moment rather than the 25 <laughs> years old that I really am. That's it, 25. <laughs> 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 so, come the 1st of January, I think we're going to get four times per month more done than we ever have done previously. And it's going to move really fast. It's going to be really exciting. We're going to have swag. We're going to have new products. We're going to have new offerings. We're going to have... Can I talk about the affiliate scheme? Yes, definitely. We're going to have our very first proper affiliate scheme where you can represent Tetricky and you can on-sell uh, or just give away free stuff. And by giving away free stuff, we're going to pay you money. Check that out. It's the easiest thing in the world. And that's going to start, uh, we're going to pilot it in January, launch it full-blown February. Is that about right? Sounds perfect. Sounds perfect. So, uh, and we've got a whole load of digitized products. We're bringing down the price point of coaching so that everybody can afford it um, by digitizing lots of stuff. Um, happy days. It is very exciting. I think the, thing I'm, the bit I'm most excited about is the pay it forward concept. Mm. That's the bit that really, really gets me going because it's it's an opportunity for, so our passion is always around giving giving opportunities to people to enhance whatever they want to enhance through sharing our knowledge, expertise and, and content. And the pay it forward within everything we're doing is allowing individuals to give stuff away for free to people who they think will see value and benefit from it. So how cool is that? We are able to touch more people and you guys are able to support those in your network that you feel mm. warrant and deserve some, some support without and, any cost. And generate some extra cash for themselves at the same time. Yep. Win, win, win. So um, yeah, we need to celebrate our screw ups. But uh, here's I've my... I've got another screw up. I Go on, by the way. So this is a it's a potential screw up. So and again, <laughs> well, it hasn't happened. Well, yet. it has happened, and I, I still haven't worked out how bad a screw up it was. Um, so I made a decision for when I was coaching this year mm -hmm. hockey. I made a change to personnel in a key game, and it didn't go as I hoped it would, and we lost the game three two, and we lost the league. 
So that was a little bit of a, a screw up on my part. Um, is it a screw up or do you think that the outcome would have been the same whether you'd made that change or not? I think I didn't do enough to mentally prepare the other players who are affected by that change. Okay. Um, so all sorts of things. We have some cool feedback today. Here's the thing about the power of what we've been talking about in these evening sessions. You might, just away. Think, you might just think that we're ranting and raving about random stuff that pops into our heads and... Um, we're not. We're not. Oh. So I had a conversation with somebody today who sent me an email who thanked me because this person has trebled the size of their business this year by doing one simple thing. He writes down everything we talk about and that's what he goes and does. Probably does it. He does it. And just by doing that one thing from these Tetra Key TV episodes, he's trebled the size of his business and gained equity or shares in two other businesses this year just by taking it and doing it. Genius. So um, if you're not taking notes and not doing it, then you're, I suppose, not going to get the troubling your business for free. So the question is, why are you watching? Yep. Why are you watching? So um, here's, here's the, my last piece of advice and thought for you is don't wait until the 1st of January to start making your New Year's resolutions, your New Year's plans, your New Year's whatever else. Make them this week and start working on 2018 now because that will mean that you will be seven, at least seven weeks ahead of the rest of your competition in terms of what they're doing in 2018. You're going to get a jump start on them. Um, if you're trying to boost everything for the end of this year and you're going to work all the way through to Christmas Day trying to seal off 2017, um, 2018 is just going to be super hard, super tough and just as challenging as it was this year. And probably three or four weeks less because you're broken from this year and yeah. you have to recover for the first three or four weeks. So there we go. So um, that's it from us tonight. Cool. Celebrate your, six, your challenges. Uh, hi Gary, <laughs> thanks for joining us. <laughs> I love it. Gary says if you haven't seen that, you guys are bonkers. Um, and there's a little story behind that, yeah. which was to do with buffalo charging. Bonkers, that's it. <laughs> awesome. Gary was with us on a hike at the weekend. Gary, I hope you're having a wonderful evening. Do a little so, dance. <laughs> make a little love. Get, Get down, down tonight. tonight. <laughs> so it's good night from him. Good night. <laughs> Casey and the Sunshine Man. That's it. Good night. We'll see you soon. Stay <laughs> Bye. awesome. Bye bye.